Hi everyone, this is Erin from Sandpaper Road and I'm happy to show you the new collections available in the Sandpaper Road shop from Craft O'Clock. These are shipped from Poland and available within the USA at Sandpaper Road and I'm so happy to show you what's brand new for August 2021 and beyond. So definitely check the shop. I'm gonna get started right away. The first things first is you'll notice that this cover sheet is on top. Now all of the covers, first of all, are great for mini albums and I'm actually working on one right now. And where did I put it? <laughs> oh, here it is. Okay, so the mini album covers come flat like this. They come in a nice, um, little envelope as you can see like a little clear cellophane I'm not going to take this one out but this is the one that coordinates with the plum in chocolate collection and I put that on top because I wanted to remind everybody that plum in chocolate is still available in the shop um, it sells out so quick I cannot keep it very long so if you are interested in the collection it is restocked so definitely go check it out. This is what happens with the covers. This is, um, it comes flat, but then you make a mini album cover. Um, I'm in the process of making a nice mini album here with one of these covers and you just add your own pages, but it look, doesn't that look nice? It's just all seamless. And um, then everything looks just really nice and seamless. Look at that, see the crease inside? So that's what the covers are for. If you're a mini album person, that's totally up your alley. And I'm going to continue right into the paper collections here. Um, I added Summer Charm for August of 2021. This is actually last year's late summer collection, but I haven't carried it in the shop. I was just trying to not get ahead of myself. So, but this year I am carrying it. And since this is already out of the pack, I am going to show you just a quick look at the six by six. Look at these papers. Just look at the collection. Um, it's really nice for like your late summer, early fall, your harvest type. Look, look at the shoes. <clears throat> so lots of great designs. And this is 18 sheets, six by six. You get three of each design. Let's see where we were. I just love this. It looks, it's, if you look closely, it looks like it's canvas almost. It's not textured though, it's a smooth paper. It just makes it look like it's textured. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, so many things you could do with this, card making. Um, this comes from the Craft O'Clock Mixed Media Collection. Mixed Media because it makes it look like, the smooth paper looks like you've already inked it, stamped it, watercolored it, pasted it, whatever, but you haven't, it's just pattern paper. So this is available in the six by six, in the eight by eight, and also down here in the 12 by 12, which I have. Um, it, the 12 by 12 has six sheets, double-sided. The eight by eight has 18 sheets, as they all do. But all the details are available there in the description of the Etsy shop. Um, if you head over to the shop and you can see the description there. There's also the junk journal set um, for summer charm and the cardboard cutouts, the chipboard die cuts. I cannot get enough of these boots, these little boots, but I just love these chipboard die cuts. It's always like when you're looking at your layout or your card or your tag and you're like, it just needs one more thing. You can always just add like a small dot or a tag or something, a frame, and it's just absolutely stunning. Here, is, here are the extras to cut, the fussy cut elements, Although I have purchased a Brother Scan and Cut machine and I am pleased to say with experience, not much that is, but that it will cut, the Brother Scan and Cut will cut these out for you. This is one-sided and all the papers are 100, or I'm sorry, 250 GSM, um, nice heavy cardstock. This, these are the decorative cards sheet and it's front and back. But this is great because you can cut these out and this is a good start for your card making. Or if you want to snip off the corners, turn them into a tag, whatever. Um, uh, little tags or decorative cards to stick in your mini album pockets. It's, it's just absolutely 
beautiful. I just love this collection. I think I <laughs> added personally for me <laughs> because I make so much stuff with this collection. So I wanted to include it um, to, to you as well. And this is the um, Extras to Cut sheet, another sheet of Fussy Cut Elements. Um, this was the Flowers 17 that coordinates as well. And um, great for mini albums, cards, scrapbooking, card making, all the things that you do paper crafting. So moving right along, we have brand new collections that are just released. This was, like I said, an older, this was last year's collection released in Poland, but I'm just now bringing it to the USA. So um, it's newer for us. I think you can get it in one or two other shops here in the US, um, new for me. Uh, so definitely check that out if you're interested. I can't, I love the wheels. I can't stand it and the bike. There's just so many possibilities. I've already made a few projects and I will link them below in the description box and also up here at the top where you can check out my blog posts with the projects that I've already made using this paper. Um, I'm not gonna show them here. You can just head over to the blog because they've already been posted and check them out there. It's really, really nice paper to work with. I know there will be more to come. Okay, but the next thing I'm gonna show you are the newer collections that are just released as of July, 2021. So just three or four weeks ago, they got released in Poland. So I'm bringing them to the shop um, in the USA and they've made some changes. They've tweaked a couple things and this is why I wanted to show you this first because you see how what they used to do was they would put the extras and the flowers and the decorative cards and they would all be single 12 by 12 sheets. And I personally thought that was fine, but they made it even better. It's better for shipping. It's a better value. Um, it's better for cutting. It's um, I'm impressed actually. So um, this is what it is. This is the first collection I'm going to show you of a few. This is called Flower Fiesta. I am in love with this. This just has mini album written all over it. So six by six, eight by eight, and 12 by 12 collections. Now I'm going to give you, let me show you the eight by eight because that'll be a nice way for you to look at it. And here you can get a good idea at the, um, well, I'll tell you what, let me just open this up. I'll just open the eight by eight, how about that? And that way you can see. Okay, double set. I love the smell. I love the smell of paper so much, I can't even take it. All right, so Flower Fiesta, I'm gonna go through these quickly. This is 24 sheets and you get four, four, six sheets plus an extra sheet. Hmm. All right, so on the back of the packaging, you get like a nice cut apart. Remember in Poland and in um, elsewhere outside the US, they tend to do square cards as a, as a norm. We're here in the States, our norm tends to be the A2 size. So, um, but regardless, this would be really nice if you're doing an eight by eight album. It's nice to have square elements. Oh, I, I'm just in love with this. Just look at it. I love when they include a wood grain. The colors though, oh. oh my goodness, the blue. Oh, oh my, my. Aren't these beautiful papers? Who are my paper addicts out there? I go on and on about paper. I'm so excited to have it in the shop, but then when I look at it, it's like, everything just stops <laughs> and I had to just look at it closer so these are the designs clearly and then it just repeats through um, but you do get it looks like e there's six designs and you get four of each that's what it looks like and then an additional one on the back of the packaging yeah I think that's what it looks like four of each that's pretty good yeah because I saw four of those pink ones go by wow a pretty good deal three of each six no well definitely check that out the eight by eight the six by six the twelve by twelve though and if you look closely I'm not going to open this up but you see this on the bottom that's because on the back of this packaging this front page it has all these tags and cutouts and cut and things like that that can go for your um, scrapbooking your card making it's just just amazing so let me move this summer charm out of the way and let me show you the other thing that goes with it. 
Okay, so this is the other thing that goes with this flower fiesta. Instead of having all those 12 by 12 sheets, well, I say all those, the three 12 by 12 sheets, and then having another sheet or another pack of flowers that coordinates, even though they do have flowers that coordinate with the colors, um, what is this? This is just the regular extra set. And this is new for craft o'clock in general, as well as being new for me. So um, I am gonna open this up and show you let me move these so that you can get a better picture. Okay, and this will show you in a second. So Flower Fiesta, and these are the two covers. As you can see, I'm not trying to be that secretive. There's a pink one and a blue one, and they coordinate with this Flower Fiesta. So I'll just have the covers out, and then we can use that as a backdrop. Sorry about the glare, um, but it'll get covered up in a second. So look, they've included the decorative cards in with this pack, flowers in with this pack, but wait, the flowers are double-sided. Do you see this? The flowers are double-sided. Now, I am here to tell you that I'm not just saying this because I carry this in my shop. I have never seen this before because if you do mini albums or mixed media or things where you're creating a lot of dimensional um, flower shaping, do you have a stylus, like a shaping tool or whatever? Anything where your flower like curls up and you can see the back of it or it hangs off the canvas or it hangs off the card or the scrapbook page or whatever. If you do a lot of that stuff, you know that when you get into that, the back of it on, um, on a regular extra sheet, you see that white back. But here, not so because the back is, it, it's double-sided. I just think that's so smart. And I'm sure it takes extra effort on their part, but so you get all these double-sided flowers in with the extras pack and um, wreaths, great fussy cut elements, but you could also just use it as a straight sheet. And this is a double-sided element as well. But seriously, you wouldn't have to, if you're a card maker, this would be lovely just to put like as a half sheet, you know, either side, cause it's slightly different. Yes, yeah, super, super nice. They do include um, a double-sided sheet here. The decorative cards have a, like a pattern paper side. That's nice for your mini albums if you're putting it in a pocket because you don't want just a plain white side and then a pattern side. So it's nice that they, they make it double-sided. Including leaves and, of course, leaves being double-sided. More flowers. This is all just one pack. And you can get these at Sandpaper Road in the shop. Each of these extras pack. As you can see, that's there. you get a lot. Look at the decorative cards, the leaves. And can you imagine if you had a pack of paper and all these elements to cut? I mean, you don't have to spend like three days fussy cutting every single one. You could just cut them as you need them. It would last a really long time, especially if you're working on an album or making like a whole set of cards. Um, and these are $7 in the Sandpaper Road shop, I believe, per pack. That's a very good deal. You get 12 sheets um, of 12 double-sided sheets, no less. Same as the new and improved junk journal set packs. The junk journal packs used to be um, I'm trying to think how many sheets they were. They weren't 12 sheets, that's for sure, but they are now 12 sheets. So the new packs include all these elements that you can cut out, double-sided elements, pockets. They're like pre-designed pockets where all you have to do is cut it out, fold it on the tab, and glue it down. It's, it really brings a lot of life to your mini album. Look at that. These are great like little tab pockets, tags, and little mini envelopes. Decorative cards that come, um, so solid sheets if you need them. All, look, at the, look at the time pieces. Yeah, these are gorgeous. Frames, flowers, um, this lacy piece. Just an extension of your paper collection. So instead of just getting like um, two 12 by 12 packs and that's it, if you got maybe like a 12 by 12 pack and, um, and an extras to cut or a junk journal set or something, 
you would really extend the life of your paper with all these extra elements. It's really worth the buy, I think. I mean, I make stuff with all the stuff that I buy. I was on their design team for about two years and um, my shop started to do so well that I had to stop doing design team work and just focus on the shop. But um, this is the only paper that I have available in my shop because I just, it's my personal favorite paper. I love it so much and I know you will too. So just trying to give you a look at the way it's organized brand new. You get a lot more elements in your junk journal set than you did before. 12 sheets as opposed to, I'm trying to think of what they had before, maybe eight, six or eight sheets maybe. So yeah, definitely worth that to pick that up. Flower Fiesta and the two covers that go with Flower Fiesta, um, the pink and the blue. All in stock and available right now today at Sandpaper Road. Next that is new in the shop is Blue Mood. O-M-G, Blue Mood. <laughs> cannot stand it. If you are a um, scrapbooker, card maker, explosion box person, mini album person, listen, if you're a mini album person, you could absolutely 100% scoop this up, Blue Mood, do a round of cards. You could pick up the junk journal set or the um, extra set and call it a day. Um, this would be perfect for Imagine getting a making a mini album, not like this obviously, maybe using one of these covers. You could do a totally blue cover with totally blue pages and do a baby album. You could do um, make your cover, do your pages like this instead of mine is this cover with white pages. Imagine it with blue and then all your accent pieces are with the pattern paper. Um, the Flower Fiesta pattern paper. Look how that coordinates with the blue. Just gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. So many collections that coordinate probably many that you have already. The 6x6, the 8x8, and the 12x12. And you can see there's lots of different designs. I'll try to show you up close so you can get um, a good idea of what you're getting. Double-sided sheets. And then on the back of the packaging, you get a set of like cut-aparts. They're just plain old cut-aparts. I just love it. Now, what I'm gonna show you next is absolutely 100% a personal favorite. I almost had, do you ever see paper and it just stops you in your tracks? If anybody who is not a paper crafter is watching this, I know they're like, these people are insane. But I am telling you that every once in a while, a paper collection stops me in my tracks, and this did it for me. I know it will do it for you if you're a paper addict like myself. This is called, I'm getting the 12 by 12. This is called Ocean Deep, and it is obviously by Craft O'Clock. This is from their mixed media line. This paper, I, I cannot even begin to express to you my love for this paper. I am taking this out. I am showing you, I had to smell it first. The whole experience of the paper is just incredible. So you have the front, obviously, on the back of the packaging, you have some beautiful looking tags and a few elements to cut. Look how they look like watercolory, like watercolor type. Look at the, they include a few flowers, just a few random elements to cut, but these tags, look at the ship and the seahorse and the mermaid. It's so just eclectic looking and um, mature and um, oh, I just love it. I just love it so, so much. Look at the jellyfish, the watercolored jellyfish. But it's mixed in with some of these like nice crisp lined leaves. I'm going, look at the ship, obviously the ship, with the text in the background and that watercolor feel. It looks like someone has already done all the mixed media work and you just have to add the elements that you want. 
beautiful scrapbook pages are just, it, literally, you could literally put a photo right here and a few elements, quotes, a title and be done. So beautiful papers. Then you've got just some, there always has to be some that you can just use. You know what I mean? They don't have to be the background layout, but this could be used for anything, not just see things. Oh my goodness. I think that's what I um, envision with this paper line. This particular paper collection is not just beachy, um, sea, ocean type pages, but I'm a scrapbooker originally, so not just that kind of stuff, but like, look at that. Oh my goodness. And I really like it that it's not overly like, um, it sounds dumb, but it's like, it's not overly fishy. Like it's not so beach, beachy that it's just too much. Like this to me, I could use for any kind of scrapbook layout that I wanted. Um, this to me could be like even almost like as a, a, an inspirational type layout. Can you imagine that? You know, it doesn't have to be a day at the beach or my vacation, but we can stretch our possibilities and think of, um, just all kinds of different things, inspirational, encouragement, um, dreams, goals, uh, junk journal, uh, art journal, you know, look at that. And of course, I am glad they do include a fishy page. You have to have a fishy page, but the whole collection as a whole is not just overly, <laughs> overly fishy. I love this little burst of coral just right in there. And as always, Craft O'Clock includes um, on the bottom of their six by six by six, on the bottom of their 12 by 12 collection, they include a color palette, which is perfect when you're picking cardstock to go along with this or ribbon or um, just your other embellishments, brads, that kind of thing. It's perfect. I, I just absolutely love when they include a wood page and they do it in almost all of them. This is the same as this cover, as you can see, which is on the bottom, sticking out here, this paper. Just beautiful, great print. I love they included a map, and then another like, um, here's the you know message in a bottle, some whales, that kind of thing, backed with a more of a starfish sea. On top of that wood background, it's beautiful. It's just absolutely beautiful. This is my, absolute, these collections I order because they're my personal favorites. Um, I just feel like it's my shop and I can order what I want and I put in my shop and share with you. I want to encourage uh, the others that, uh, that are scrapbookers, card makers to just share my love with these collections so much. I think I'm looking for cohorts to love these collections along with me. So definitely stop by my shop and uh, the Sam Paper Road shop and check these out. So again, we've got the 12 by 12, we've got the six by six and we've got the eight by eight. Um, and yes, I picked up the, ch oh, I, do you know what? I didn't bring them out. I have, oh no, I have chipboard dies for that flower collection too. A sheet of the chipboard dies. It's just like this. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. I don't have it out here on the table. I have it packed in with the, um, with the stock. Ugh, sorry about that. But, um, the chipboard die cuts are always just so beautiful, um, enhancements and they come pre-cut real nice, um, chipboard. They pop out real easy. You can see in the packaging there, it just pops out really easy. Great. It just works with regular old glue. Um, just where's my glue. I use this Nouveau glue and it works great stick it down to wherever glue dots whatever oh I'm so sorry I didn't bring that the other one out the cardboard dies this right here is um, new in the shop and this is they call it in Poland I I wonder if it's a translation type of of thing here they're labeled as decorative tracing papers okay we here in the States we call it vellum so but I will show you, I'm going to open this one up. So there's six by 12 in size, uh, decorative tracing papers. Okay. 
we call it like a printed vellum. So when you look in the shop within this Ocean Deep collection, you'll see printed vellum like this is set five because it says set five, okay? But look at this and you can see my hand through it. So it is um, translucent so that you can see through it a little bit, um, but still has that sort of opaque look, okay? And can you imagine just cutting out these elements or tearing through them or you could ink them. Um, you could just try whatever you wanted. So I definitely suggest picking up two. One you can play with and then one you can use um, after you've played because it's so fun to play. And then here's one with the whales. This would be great to just lay on top of a piece or great for your cards if you're a card maker because these are six by 12 so you could use pieces of it maybe on like one half of a card. Do you know how you do? Let me go through the other sheet. So if you get three sheets uh, here, whoops, hard to pick up. I like these. These are more of like little frames, just little side borders and a ship. Um, actually, if you look really slightly, you can almost see that it's almost like a cut apart because you can sort of see where the line is, where you would cut it. Um, and that would be perfect for card making. And I so plan to do some of that. I, I like to do card making. It's, it's not, I don't love it as much as scrapbooking, but I do like to do card making because I like that you can make a card and then have the project be done right away. And sometimes those other projects take a little while. And then this I included also, even though it um, doesn't necessarily go with the ocean deep, like it's not ocean deep specific. But um, it's new to the shop, and then this is set six of the printed vellum. And um, as you can see, ooh, they're hard to separate. These smell different than the other papers, but these are more of like, um, you know, sort of your steampunk type, uh, you know, your labels, your tickets, your ephemera, really like an ephemera type of a, um, of a product. I can't wait to use this in my really vintage looking stuff. This would look great with other vintagey paper collections you have, or if you're trying to get that vintage look, certainly you could tear it, you could ink it, um, you could just cut it and leave it as is. You can attach it with a staple or a brad. Um, so there's that sheet. Then you have this, this beautiful like text script um, newspaper type things and script writing, um, letter writing, labels, just a really nice look. This is great to lay down, and the music notes. The music notes though, look at that. Oh, I can't stand it. Imagine starting with a canvas and you start by putting down just some like gel medium and then just a, like some of this and you let it dry fully and then you continue just right over top of your canvas. Like, like this was already part of the canvas. Wouldn't that make a cool look? Because you'd see just pieces of that as you went along through your mixed media project. You'd just see glimpses of that on the way down. Kind of like how you would do a book page, but this has that vellum thing. So you could do black or white um, canvas, like black or white gesso or any, anything else you wanted. So that's what is called the decorative tracing papers. Um, like I said, here we refer to them more as vellum. So I labeled them in the shop as printed vellum. And then still continuing um, to wrap this up, this is the Ocean Deep, the Junk Journal Extra Set and the Extra Set. And there's a great mix. Look at the ship and the flowers. I love it. I love it. It smells like it's fresh off the press. So I'm going to go through here just quick. Look at the mermaid though and the sea the seahorse and the mermaid on the back of the packaging. This one is probably the only one you'd have to make some choices because you can either have this or this. You're not going to get a double-sided mermaid that size or ship or seahorse. But I like the extra big sizes. That's nice for scrapbooking. The rest, however, are nice and small, double-sided flowers, leaves. Um, then you have your cut-aparts, 
um, or fussy cut elements. So nice. Are they double-sided too? Oh my gosh, they did the mermaids double-sided. No, they didn't. <gasps> Everything is double-sided. Oh my gosh, the turtle. The sea turtle. <gasps> oh, look at the jellyfish and the whales. Oh, look at the stingray. Th now, this is why they're called extras. Because did you notice I said that the papers themselves weren't real... They weren't real heavy fishy, but the extras, are, but the, but see, the extras also have flowers and leaves and ships. The turtle is just what's getting, look at the octopus or squid. I guess I don't know my sea animals very well. Just gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I have to make a mini album. I have to. Oh man. Boy, you get a lot with this set, with these extra set, because you get... Did I say two or three of each? What do you get here? Uh oh, I covered up the packaging, the front. What do you get? Oh, you get two each. Six designs and you get two each on the new extra set. And it's, I think it's easier to ship overall with like this because you get more in this stack than the, than the, um, the extra sets in a 12 by 12. Easier to ship, easier to store. The junk journal set, I'll save some time and not open this up because as you can see, they're, they're similar. You've got your ticket pages. I'll just open it up while I'm here. It doesn't take that long. This underneath we have is the new cover that goes with the Ocean Deep. Okay. Ooh, I'm glad I opened this up. This is neat. Ooh, it's different. Ooh. Oh yeah. And look, six by 12. That would make a great card. Well, maybe not because you've got this on the back, but it could if you're sticking this down. Oh, just beautiful. I have a thousand ideas when I look at this stuff. Oh, neat little tabs. You could adhere on three sides and you've got a pocket. Oh, but this is just gorgeous. And here's your cut aparts. See? Decorative cards. You've got some pattern papers. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. That's a nice addition. And then it just repeats, it looks like. Wow. Oh, here. Like many little envelopes. These are nice for gift cards. So if you're making cards, yeah, that's fabulous. Excellent. That's the junk journal set for Ocean Dream. And here is the cover for Ocean Dream. Um, just gorgeous. Again, it's already it's in plastic. I don't want to take it out because I don't want to rip the seal. But, um, yeah, fantastic. So, uh, definitely check these out in my shop. Now, I do have an extra special surprise. Well, it's not a surprise because I've been offering it uh, for a while. But if you are watching this video and you've watched it this far, then you can um, save 15% off at the Sandpaper Road shop. And I will put the coupon code right here. It's S-R-Y-T-15. That means, that stands for Sandpaper Road YouTube 15. Um, S-R-Y-T-15. You can save 15% off your entire order at the Sandpaper Road shop. And that is only available to my YouTube audience. So I don't really advertise that anywhere else. So um, thank you so much for watching. And that is my thank you to you. So head over to the shop and use that coupon code in your checkout. And you could save 15% every time you order um, just because you've watched this video. So um, as another uh, act of appreciation, definitely hit that subscribe button and like this video and definitely share it with your paper crafting friends. Um, I know that you're going to love this paper as much as I do. If this is your first experience with craft o'clock paper, OMG, you're going to love it. You're just absolutely going to love it. So, um, thank you so much for watching and, um, you can, uh, head over to the Sandpaper Road shop. There will be links in the description. Definitely enter that coupon code. And if you, um, would like to check me out on social media, it's at Sandpaper Road on Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest. And, um, thank you so much for watching. And we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.